Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and my hot, sweet, sticky jalebis, I am Missy D. Um, you've heard me on the radio, you never see me on the television, and I have to say, this is my very, very first television broadcast, and with none other than a woman that is a little bit hard, sometimes a little bit nudum nudum and very gudum. Um, and uh, what more can I say about her? She's going to come down the stairs. I'd like to introduce to you today on MissyD.com, Miss Hardcore in the house. Hi. Everyone make some noise. <laughs> That's my audience for you. Hardcore, yeah. good luck with you. Good, good, good. How are you doing? S sit yourself down. Mm -hmm. Firstly, can I say, the hair. Yeah. Why are you looking like me and I'm looking like you? Because well, you used to have a lumbi lumbi ball. Yeah. What's going uh, on? I was shooting for the film and it just took so long. And the minute he said, it's a wrap, I ran to the it's hairdressers and... No pun intended. I had to wear a long plait in the film, so... Are you serious? We're, we're, we're talking about Patiala months. Junction. Patiala House. Patiala yeah, House, yeah. Junction, House. Yeah. Uh, and when, 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 when did the filming go on for that? Uh, we were filming, um, like we did a couple of months in India. Yep. Um, then, then you're in South We Dawn. had the actual set in India that looked like UK right. from the inside. And then all the outdoor shots were done in South London. Obviously, we know Dimpa Kavadia, Rishi Kapoor, Akshay himself. We were all in South Hall and he just went crazy. And there's a lot of people filming and stuff. So it was, it was how, fun. how did you bag that role? What happened? How did you get into um, Badiala House? Well, I've been obviously doing my stuff in Bollywood, but I've always been doing music. I've been approached before for films, but it's not the right kind of... Um, role for me, you know, like a heroine and that. all that. I can't do all that. So I was kind of waiting for something that I, I, I can relate to uh -huh. coming. Then, um, um, because I did Jalak, Dancing with the Stars India. You did? They really enjoyed it because they started watching. They saw me doing uh, Gidda, Nikhil Advani and Akshay, obviously. And um, they thought that I was perfect for the, the role, which is the character, which is Komal, who's Akshay's sister in the film. And... You know, I could relate to the script because it's full Punjabi family film um, based in South Hall about the generation gap, you know, how our parents are quite, you know, worried about us mixing with Gore and stuff like that. So you're going to really enjoy it. And why you're going to laugh so much is because I got like a middle parting. You're joking. Long flat. And Isn't that how you really normally bad, used to look before? Suits, horrible cardigans. But um, it was Papa, take me, look. like really take me away from... Huh. Um, my character the hard and then obviously look. I turn into a rapper later so yeah you turn into a rapper into the film yeah absolutely brilliant okay so we're going to talk about all the stuff that you're doing and stuff but first this is like we call celeb on demand celeb on demand is all about getting up close and personal with the stars now I've interviewed you before but there's lots of stuff that you didn't actually tell me so we're going to go okay. back to basics yeah. and we're going to firstly start with your real name mm -hmm. I think a lot of people know but some people don't hardcore is what your filmy name I would say yeah. is um, or your celebrity name, name yeah. uh, your birth name is Taran Kaur or Fagore or Taran Kaur. Taran, Tarun. Do you have a nickname? And, um, I can't what is your mom? You have no, to tell me. No, no. You have to no, tell me. Oh my God. Please. Okay. Tanno. Tanno. Do you know, I knew you were going to say Tanno, Tanno ki ak. Well, that's Tanno, isn't it? Tanno is the horse. Okay. Um, your date of birth with the year. Oh, right. I'm, I don't mind that. It's 29th uh, of July. I'm a Leo, 79. Yes, I'm 30 years old or whatever, 31, I think. Yeah. 1975, boom, right? 79. Uh, so are, you sure? I, yeah. are you sure? Are you sure? I did yeah. my research, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 79, 79 born. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, brothers and sisters, how many you got? I got one younger brother. And what's his name? Sukraj Singh. What, what does he do? Uh, he does loads of different types of work all the time. Um, they actually live in England. I've been living in Bombay for the last two years. So the last thing I remember, he was doing a lot of um, architect work, which is building the houses and stuff. Very good. So then he was doing some work in garage, in cars. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> mum lives with you in Bombay no, or in mom Birmingham? Lives in, mom lives in India. I'm, is she in India I, with I live you? in Bombay alone. Alone? With my dog and stuff. Yeah. With your dog? Yeah. <laughs> I, got, I got a pit bull in Bombay. <laughs> you got a pit bull? Yeah. And the name? Bobo. Bobo? Yeah. Why Bobo? Because he's stupid. So okay. Bobo is for dumb. Oh, and when did you get, when did you get Bobo? Um, only a few months back I had to find him. So I was in Punjab doing a show for Jack Jones. And as it, they say in Punjab, whatever you want, whenever you want, wherever you want it, we'll, we can get it for you. And I was like, do you have any pit bulls? And they're like, yeah. I, I like, so my favourite is a Westie. Do you know yeah. what Westie is? Westie's a little, yeah, yeah. like a Toto type dog. Yeah. I love oh. dogs. I mean, just they're oh. great. Yeah. Okay, so you've uh, gone to Bombay. Um, I want to know the whole story about how Thudden became hardcore. Hardcore went into Mumbai, and well, now you, you walk know in the how ramps. I became hardcore. I mean, UK. I don't, but knows. I do. But they, they, they don't. 
I'm sure they do. They I mean, don't. I've, been, I've been doing you don't this do. for they don't. They don't. like 15 years. I've been doing this now. Yeah. Um, I came from India. Uh, I lost my father in the rights 84. We came to India. Uh, we came to UK with my mom and my younger brother. Didn't know how to speak any English. Um, discovered hip hop. Fell in love with hip hop. Used to get bullied at school for being a freshie. So, um, Are you serious? Yeah. So then I thought, you know, I got to do something and show that, you know, I've always been one for female power and I've always been like, we should get treated equal, you know, because even in India, I, feel like, I believe they're just so much more ahead when it comes to that mentality that you get treated as equal as a woman over there, you know, like especially in Bollywood or mm. playback singing, you know, Asha Bosle will get the same respect as, you know, Kishore Kumar and... Sunidhi Chauhan will get the same respect as, you know, KK. But what about for you? Your girl from England, come from UK. Yeah. You're, to them, are, are an NRI. You've got yeah. huge respect in Mumbai and in the British Asian music industry here. But how was the transition? Did you I at just, first it find was, it hard? It was really easy for Really me. easy? Really easy because um, when people say to me, did you have to, like, struggle? Yeah. I would say struggle when you have to work hard and try to, you know, make hit tracks. Uh, for Bollywood, they, that, it's not really a struggle, that's just work. Huh. But I didn't, from the day one I went to India, I've been given so much love. I'm so blessed, you know, with the amount of respect I got. Um, I went over there to do a few shows. I got approached by Shankar San Lois, you know, for Johnny Gaddar. That was my first uh, Bollywood track. And then boom, 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 Pritam, Vishal It Shekhar, escalated, hard was all Singh around. King, so yeah. I just did loads of that. And then um, what nobody knew in India or England is that I could dance. So, um, I and we saw Angela the Glad Yeah, the right? I, di I, I, I didn't get a chance to showcase that huh. ever. Huh. So when they asked me to do Jalak, it was a quality program. You know, it was in, you know produced by BBC. It was properly done. So I was like, hmm, I should do this, but maybe they'll get rid of me after two episodes. Huh. Um, and you got to the semi-finals. Yeah, and 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 I I've loved every minute of it. I think it's the highlight of my. Um, career in a way because a lot of people got to know what I'm like. Yeah. People had their own assumption of what always oh, hardcore, you know, they don't know what I'm like, they think I'm crazy, whatever. Then they actually got to learn what I'm like in real life, no makeup, you know, full on me. And it's exactly how I am on TV, it's exactly how I'm at home. You are though, so you're, you're a real person. That's, that is what I like about you. You're a British Asian female and you've broken all barriers. Um, I know when I talked to you last, you did say that you have had a lot of hatred mm. um, in the industry. Do you want to talk about that? I think that was more like right at the beginning. And yeah. then it was a British, Asian. So it's more these people yeah. in your it's own never country been in that India. actually gave you hate yeah. rather than in Mumbai where you've been welcomed no, with, I've always, with open arms. Yeah, Bombay, I mean, I've had, I've had so much. Like, the, like I'm saying, how can you totally be yourself and have, you have people love you? That's the best feeling. You know, and I love being in India. I, was, I think... Uh, you see, I am who I am because of both countries. Yeah. India, I was born there, it gave me culture, it gave me, you know, my roots, That's I respect that. But then UK made me hardcore, get, told me how to say no, stand up for myself and, you know. Where did the name hardcore come from? People used to tease me because I used to have a lot of arguments and fights with boys that I can rap and then, and, <laughs> I, and they used to want to battle. And huh. then um, we were outside Punjabi MC um, studio one day. And um, some of the boys were like, your boss a rhyme, she can't do nothing. And I was like, yeah. So I bust him like a 16 bar. And everybody was like, oh my God, she shouldn't be called Taran she should be called Hardcore. Yeah, so. I always, every time I say your name, I say Hardcore, you know the school. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know why. So you like, you know, talk, talking about spitting rhymes, can you, can you spit us one? Yeah, no problem. Whatever, whatever you want and the, uh, however you want. You want and then, a we're clean gonna version. Bit, then we're going to do a bit of a, a burn off because I can rap as well. Yeah? Yeah, no. Cool. <laughs> No, <laughs> I did a track. Do you know I did a track with Just Bin the Narula? Really? Yes. Oh, she's a great singer. Yeah, she's a great singer. Yeah. Um, it's called Kinudasa, and I rapped in Punjabi. I actually did ten tracks of an album, uh, and then my producer ran off with it. Oh, I know. So See, anyway, this, the, the male-dominated industry of yeah, well, UK. Well, yeah. I'll, I'll, I can give you the chance to interview me, and I'll probably start crying. But no. Oh. So after three, a one, a two, a one, two, three, go, four, hardcore. Yo, HK, make way, backbreaker. Ever since I was a little youth, I've been a money maker. Stop, st step heavy, ground breaker. I chat up on the mic like I was from Jamaica. And uh, ha, 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 I ain't no booty shaker. But in Bollywood films, I'll be hot like Ricker. And I got too many, like,